Good morning. Getting ready to prepare lunch. So I have chicken legs marinating, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of vinegar. Fruit vinegar that I made myself. Some green beans, sweet potato uh, pulled from the garden. I have celery. I have um, frozen sweet pepper. In October last year, we had a glut of sweet pepper, so I sliced the seed, opened freeze, put in bags, and for further freezing. I have here a jar of tomatoes, which again in October, we harvested a lot of tomatoes, so I blanched them, removed the skin, removed the seed, and placed in jars in their own juices. And you can still see the remnants of uh, the candle wax that I put around the lid to prevent external air into going inside. I also have some dried cranberries and I am making sofrito, which is a combination of herbs. This is colantro, which is very uh, can be found in the Caribbean, but I also saw them in Thailand and in Vietnam. When they serve the food, they have this plate of uh, greens that, they, that you can actually use while eating. And I have onion and ginger, which I also pulled from the garden. Now, I don't have garlic, but I remember that I have preserved garlic in honey. So you can see the garlic with some slices of ginger and placed in honey, ferment in honey for weeks and weeks and weeks. With the pandemic, we resorted to the preserved garlic, fermented garlic, to increase our immunity. And so there you are, and I am ready to cook lunch. And in this case, I am using the chicken legs, which I said earlier, has been marinating for about half an hour. So I have here two pans, a smaller pan to fry, fry the potatoes, and the, big, the, the bigger pan, the skillet, to start cooking the chicken. I said earlier that I don't have garlic, so I am using garlic that I have preserved, fermented in honey. So you can see my garlic with slices of ginger and have been fermenting and I think stopped fermenting in honey because I have this in the jar for weeks and weeks and weeks. Now here I show you the chicken legs that I am cooking. They look so anemic so I put homemade vinegar so that they will turn golden yellow and you can see as I turn the chicken legs around they have already gotten golden brown or golden yellow and this I discovered by mistake uh, in fact many years ago when I experimented on making pineapple vinegar using wild yeast and then I cooked it I used it to cook adobo and I said what the chicken pieces have turned golden brown without using any browning agent and I forgot all about it and just one week ago I cooked this I cooked the chicken and using my my vinegar from apple turned golden yellow again. So here you are, you have palatable chicken and golden yellow. Here the potatoes and carrots are happily frying. You can see the change of color. The, the sweet potato is changing into beautiful orange color and my chicken legs are happily changing color as well. Now, 
don't use a lot of vinegar because they will turn very very dark as happened to me one time so I just limit myself to about two tablespoon of vinegar now I'm adding chicken broth so that the the chicken leg will cook some more and make sure that they are fully cooked So now I have the sofrito and the sweet pepper and the cranberries sweetly boiling. Now I add the pre-fried potatoes and carrots and leave it to simmer until everything is cooked, particularly the chicken. We really want the chicken fully cooked to the bone. So I'll cover the chicken and reduce the heat to medium-low and just wait. I will rake up while we are waiting. I marinated the chicken legs in salt, ground pepper, gra uh, ground garlic or garlic powder and two tablespoons of my homemade apple vinegar and then I use whatever I can find in the refrigerator and around the house we have sweet potatoes dug from the garden the ginger dug from the garden I have some dried cranberries and sweet pepper in the freezer tomatoes that I have been preserving since October and also pulled some colantro leaves from the garden. So I prepared the sofrito as described earlier. It is a mix of herbs that is very popular in the Caribbean. You can actually mix any herb of your choice. But I have what I have that is the colantro, onion, garlic that was fermenting in honey and ginger pulled from the garden i also have some garden beans the green beans that i got from the refrigerator and put it all together and you have a all-in-one meal you have the protein from the chicken meat you have the vitamins from the sweet potato and the carrots, the lycopene from the tomatoes, and all other minerals and vitamins. So when I eat lunch, I just eat this without rice, but my husband, who is very fond of rice, will have at least a cup of rice with this meal. So now, voila, we have our lunch. Thank you.